Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. This is your one card read for January 2024. I need one card. We have the tower that is Scorpio's energy. Okay, since it came to me, I will say it. Okay. Mm. So in January, just be careful. Just check all electrical um, stuff. Make sure things are unplugged before you leave the house. Make sure everything is turned off. Even if you have to check it twice, I advise you to do it, okay? Um, because there can be a like, fire or something like that. I don't know. I'm, so when I look at stuff, I will pick up on different things. So I'm just letting you guys know um, to just watch everything. So there's, they're showing me a lot of the plug. Like the plug, you plug things in. Just make sure when you leave, if there's any bad plugs or something like that, just take that out before you leave. Uh, somebody might have like a, a bad electrical um, wiring plug where, you know, you know that in the house or there's a bad plug. Okay, don't use it. <laughs> I don't know. So that's what they're showing me, the plugs that you plug in things for electricity, for lights and stuff. So, um... Yeah, maybe check your plugs or get them or maybe the landlord can check them or something like that. Or just unplug everything, make sure everything's turned off. Make sure um, you just double check behind yourself. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Sagittarius for their surrounding energy, okay? I'm getting home and environment as well. So just, just check everything, make sure everything's off. And um, you should be fine. Okay, guys. So we have with the Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. We also got Scorpio here. Strong energy here for you guys. Sagittarius is strong. Taurus with the Seven of Pentacles and Scorpio energy here. Yep. You guys might look into another place to live in as well. I don't know why I keep getting a property or some place to live in. Maybe you don't like where you live at. Maybe it's too loud. You can't sleep. Maybe the neighbors are noisy. I just feel you're tired. You want to leave. You want to go somewhere else. Uh, I just feel you want to leave where you live at. I do feel you want to invest somewhere else or put your money somewhere else. Maybe you guys want to stop renting and you want to invest in a home. That's what I'm getting, okay? It is a general message. Sagittarius, so, you know, take it as apply. This may or may not resonate. You, Someone is sick of where they live at. You want to move. You want to do better. You want to live somewhere else. Um, just getting you don't like where you live at. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like also you want to invest somewhere else. You want to, you know, you may not want to keep paying rent. You want to start paying a mortgage, you know, where you feel like the home, you're owning the home. Yeah, I get that someone is tired of paying rent, okay? And they don't want to pay rent no more. You want, you're like, why am I still paying rent? I'd rather just buy a home. So even if it does not happen that way, I'm still picking up on your thoughts that someone wants to do that, okay? So that's what I'm getting. So that's what you might be looking for, looking for an investment. So it might be an investment of property, okay, uh, for some of you guys. Not everybody, but for others of you guys, it might be an investment of relationship here. Someone might have a shocking proposal or engagement with the tower card there. It is upright. So someone might come to your house or, you know, they might have already, if they know you're some of your family members or something like that. Someone wants to shockingly surprise someone through an engagement ring, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles there, someone could be engaging someone or um, giving them an engagement ring or um, proposing to them. Yeah, uh, someone wants long-term marriage. It could be very shocking to you. Maybe you didn't think this person would marry you. Maybe, you know, years ago, maybe you were bothering them or like, are we going to get married? Where's our relationship going? I just feel like this person is planning, as, you know, to marry you. But you don't know it. Okay, so... Someone's looking to um, invest with you long term. Okay, so also financially, since it's a general message, yeah, you're going to be victorious over your money as well. We do have the Six of Wands behind that Seven of Pentacles. 
So after some kind of money setback, financial setbacks, there could have been financial woes too. So now moving into finances and for the general message, if there was some kind of financial woes, like you lost a lot of money some kind of way through like a bad investment, someone could have lost their property, they could have lost their home, someone could have lost their car, someone could have lost their job. However, the money was lost, okay? Um, I do see you becoming victor victorious over it, okay? You have the victory card right behind the seven of pentacles in the main deck. So that lets me know you're going to be victorious over whatever happened here, whatever this mistake was or fire. I keep getting fire. Did someone have like a house fire and then you, you know, you, were just, you caught it in time, you were able to put it out? Hmm. Just be careful in January, guys, whoever this is resonating with. If you know you got bad um, wiring in your place and you know it's very expensive to fix that, just be very careful, okay, in January. As I do see some kind of fire here and this are not, they're clouds, but I am seeing it like smoke. Hmm. Hmm. And it's back again. So just be careful. And I'm picking up on it again. All right. So with the Seven of Pentacles, like I said, you know, someone's going to have um, a change in their finances for the better here. Give it time. There is You've been waiting a while or something or pausing for a while, for a minute. You are going to be victorious, um, though, financially. Okay, Sagittarius, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Um, we have the Situational Love Oracle deck. Let's see for a general message. What does this person want to say? Anything they want to say? Hold on. Anything this person want to say to Sagittarius? General message for Sagittarius. Whoa. Anything else? Yeah, they keep flipping over here. Okay. The bottom of the deck. Oh, we have talking. It says, interested, awaiting messages, text, call, email, talking, and more. So someone may contact you, um, someone that you haven't heard from in a long time, Sagittarius, in um, January 2023. We have old school. It says, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. We have self-indulgence, says self-worth and value, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So you guys could be pouring love into yourself. You guys have a twin flame here. It says twin flames. It says yin and yang and balance, union and duality, complements and polar opposites. So this person that is coming in is definitely going to be different than you are, okay? And race... Um, ethnic group, also language I'm hearing. So with talking, maybe you guys are going to be talking about different things. Healthy food, healthy choices in life. It says self-love, self-care, being happier, love in life. So I just feel, I do feel you guys are going to definitely be together um, very soon or near, in the near future here. Okay, you guys are going to enjoy the most of um, eating or probably cooking together or going out somewhere to like a healthy restaurant or something like that. I do feel someone's vegetarian here or either they're just really watching what they put into their body. You guys are careful about what you're eating. I do see um, you guys getting together in a deep uh, committed relationship with the seven of pentacles. with your twin flame, the person you're meant to be with in this lifetime here. So that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. Until next time, take care.